I turned 70. Wow. Oscar Wilde once said, never trust a woman who tells her real age. <laughs> <laughs> if she tells that, she'll tell anything. <laughs> because I really have had a super good life. I've had a marvelous existence. I'm still enjoying my existence. I'm married to the love of my life, who I'm delighted to say is a rare book collector. You know, that's really the best of all husbands because it means that he already knows to equate quality with age. <laughs> actually, that today was April. So, uh, you know, late bloomer that I am, I haven't made the transition. I'm still, you know, Angie will do that for us. Later. I'm still back in forgiveness. It occurred to me, while I was thinking about forgiveness, that there is some um, synchronicity going on here. You know, the seemingly um, unrelated events that occur simultaneously. My, every year, my birthday occurs during the month of forgiveness. Now what's that all about? I suppose maybe I'm supposed to forgive God for making me another year older. <laughs> yeah, I don't make any sense. Besides, my husband has informed me that it beats the alternative. <laughs> Perhaps I should forgive society for treating 70 as if it's old. Do you remember, some of you, when you were 30, 40, 70 was the end of life. <laughs> I have a uh, forgiveness story that I want to share. A few years back, uh, when I was a blonde, a friend in Washington used to send me dumb blonde jokes at the rate of two or three a week. At one point, he sent a little note along saying, I hope you're not offended by these dumb blonde jokes. And I wrote back and said, well, no, blonde jokes don't offend me, but then I'm not really a blonde. <laughs> <laughs> Recently, he sent me another blonde joke, reminding me that I hadn't received one for him from him for a very, very long time. And um, I wrote back and thanked him for the joke, and said that it really was uh, preferable to the ones I was receiving recently, which were all about senior moments. <laughs> of the best we can with the knowledge and awareness we have at that moment. So if a moment later we stand in judgment of ourselves, we are judging from, based on the experience that we received from that prior moment. And since we are extensions of God, doing the best we can in the moment is absolutely perfect. You know, the most valuable lesson that I have learned in my 70 years is that the only thing worth forgiving ourselves for is never having tried that new thing in the first place. There are some lyrics that I love from the song The Rose. Listen to these. It's the heart, afraid of breaking, that never learns to dance. It's the dream, afraid of waking, that never takes the chance. It's the one who won't be taken, who cannot seem to give. And the soul, afraid of dying, 
that never learns to live. Have a great day. <laughs>